because when the, the person who was there with John Mahama and the NDC, those guys who were there were able to build interchanges. They were able to build hospitals. They were able to build chip compound, build, build um, airport. If these guys were able to build a factory that can employ directly and indirectly over 10,000 people and you sit and you come and you have not been able to do half of that. And you tell me you brought free SHS, which is already in our constitution. And as we speak, the free SHS has collapsed. Our basic education has collapsed. You want me to come again? That part, you know, because you have failed to use your senses. Ombe say you have failed to use your senses. It's be a duno, Mr. Mushabino. It is not about the technicalities. Bro, fuck, I said no. It's about bringing everything down. Basic. Jan Jinni says, Sibio, young co school da. A few young son. A few young son is saying, Yan Fantini, now it was central region. Now Commander Sugar Factory, Osi Albina, now Obesinde, Obi Frisema Bess, Nasu Obiaba, now when Timmy put in use, that Sandy Pan said, Give me power to be president. Sibio, young Fantini to Dami. Why do you not know then? You had one millionaire in the central region of Parkwesi Indum who was employing Wamba, your kids. When they were in senior high school and they dropped out of, he was employing them, giving them some skill, teaching them how to at least work as a, as a, as a financial people. A government comes and shuts that down. Your kids, you know for a fact, people in the central region, say any partner, only one can come to Accra and be successful. You know it. Now, you know, they could have created something out of what Parkway Syndrome was giving them. So what will make you sit there and say, let me go and vote again for these people? Are you okay? The PhD and all that, it doesn't add anything to our brains. So the common sense part, you know, that is what changes our life. Somebody can read all the books in this world. He can get all the titles. He has no sense. His PhD can save him. When he's eating with all due respect, shit. Because the common sense should tell you, sir, when you pick food, you put it in your mouth, in your butt. And he sit down and do this analysis. Alan Chamanti could not pass that one test. Just one test. I don't want to go to the other fields. One test, he couldn't pass it. He wants to be president. But Omiya has failed every single test. Why? I didn't think I'm going to go to Obama. When to me, I'm going Commander Sugar Factory. When you put it to work, so what is your CV? Dear now, the old political statement in the saying, what have you done? What I have done is I served under Kufuor. What I have done is I served under Kufuado. What I have done is I was a minister. The issue is what did you do to impact the lives of the people? You were given a role. What did you do? Alan Chermanty, were you able to create from that role? No. AFTC the nonsense you are talking about. We want to see action. The people of Ghana no, amu peso amu humbi And you had the advantage. You had every advantage over everyone to make sure Commander Sugar Factory was working hundred percent. Then you tell people, you tell Ghanaians, she when kuwa hune wusi I can create jobs. You are sitting there. You are still blaming. The idea of Kwambo said you want to sell Commander Sugar Factory. Why we need more more about? You want us to vote for you? No, please consider us. Don't disrespect the intelligence of Ghanaians. Thank you.